Yo what's up fellas, hello and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel and I think it's been around 3 months since I did my last Warzone performance guide video, settings guide, I don't know how to call it and yeah a little bit has changed, not much but today in this video I'm gonna show you everything I do in game and everything I do outside of the game like in Windows you know all those settings and yeah guys, I don't know how to fix it. I'm rendering my videos literally in 120,000 kilobits. And my shit still be looking Samsung-like. Like you remember when Lil Tracy said, Baby, I know you want to FaceTime, but baby, I got Samsung. Hey. Like, I felt that. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to show you firstly here my settings. Um, I haven't changed pretty much... I haven't changed anything at all, I think. The only thing I changed is anti anti-aliasing, but I'm going to show you that. But for those of you who haven't seen the first guide, which was like three months ago, um, I'm going to go over it again. Yeah, monitor, just select everything you need to know. Uh, screen refresh rate, probably the one you're rocking. If you're rocking 60 hertz, put in 60. If you're rocking 144, put in 144. Since, let's say you're playing on 144 hertz, but you got it capped on 240, your GPU is just going to work way harder than it actually needs to produce those 240 hertz even though you don't need it guys and this will just um, produce heat and heat will slow down your GPU and it gets slower it can produce less FPS and your shit might be started lagging you know so just keep it exactly on the refresh <laughs> on the refresh rate you need holy shit English is hard right now <laughs> okay so next up aspect ratio everything automatic Disabled, we think you don't want that. Um, yeah, let's move on. Display gamma, don't mess with that. Yeah, and these are my settings. Basically, my texture resolution, I set it as well, and you can see it pretty much on the screen already. Your game is gonna start looking weird as fuck if you put this below high. And also, normal. The difference between low and normal is like super small, and then the jump to high is like enormous. And yeah, you can literally see it, it's self explaining. Then my texture resolution filter I got on medium, normal, then low, disabled, disabled, normal. Then let's continue with shadow and lightning. Low, disabled, disabled, low, disabled, disabled, disabled. You don't need that. Don't play with ray tracing, even though you got an RTX card, don't play with that. Just fucking up your FPS. <laughs> and this is where it gets interesting, analyzing. I do prefer visuals when I'm streaming, let's say it like that. If I'm not streaming, I do put this on like SMAA one time or uh, two times or yeah, when I'm streaming I put it on Filmic because it looks way better. Filmic is just the best option, you know you get those sharp clean images and yeah it just looks the best. And yeah, for me when I'm streaming I put this on this, otherwise you could put it as well on uh, times one or times two, but don't turn it off because your image is gonna get really washed and all the edges are gonna get like they're gonna get you know what I mean <laughs> fuck's sake English is quite hard for me right now wait let me take a okay enough ASMR there and yeah now let's continue here with post processing and all the effects um pretty much just turn off motion blur because you don't want to have a blurry image it explains itself I would say and yeah, those are all my settings. Um, yeah, this is pretty much everything I use right now, guys. And these are the best competitive settings you can get, uh, like right now. I don't know how to describe them. Like I always say, competitive because you wanna have the sweet spot between like um, visuals, nice visuals, and high FPS. So yeah, there you go. So, and now I'm gonna see you just in a second when I show you all the tweaks I do in Windows um, to let my game run way smoother and everything. And yeah, see you guys just in a second. So what you want to do now is also really simple. Just go to a Blizzard launcher, go into options, game options, and boom, you got the option to put in some extra dot launch options, I think they're called, yeah. <laughs> and then you just go down the description and you're gonna copy the entire line I put there. It's basically just two words, but... First of all, you're gonna like the video, obviously, yeah. And then you're gonna copy these and put them in there. Make sure everything is selected, everything is in there, and yeah, boom, hit apply, you're good to go. So, next up, we're gonna enable the ultimate power performance mode in Windows 10. This is also super easy, guys. 
simply go into your Cortana or your Windows search bar, type in CMD and press right click and launch it as administrator. Um, yeah, just gonna enable it. And then this window here pops up, boom, so. And now you're gonna go again in the video description and copy the, co uh, the command line, which is marked as um, power plan, ultra performance power plan mode, something like that. And yeah, just simply put it in here and press enter. I don't have to do it, I already got it. So, and as you've done this, you're just gonna type in energy into your Windows search bar again, and then it will put you here to this um, selection mode where you can select which power plan you wanna use. And then you're just gonna make sure it's checked, um, the ultimate the ultimate uh, power mode is selected. And yeah, this is all you need basically. Um, it's gonna be probably somewhere here hidden down. So yeah, just make sure you find it. So now this final step is more for people who are not so trained when it comes to PC gaming, I would say. Like, trust me guys, I know tons of people who haven't um, updated their NVIDIA drivers or AMD drivers, I don't know what you play on, if you play on a GeForce or an AMD card, they haven't updated their graphics cards drivers like since a year or shit like that. So simply if you're on GeForce, go on to um, drivers, <laughs> yeah, and then just search for an update, I don't know, logic. Guys, just make sure your shit is up to date. Like there are people complaining, like I've got a friend of mine. He hasn't updated his uh, GeForce drivers since two years, since he got his PC. And he was like always complaining, yo, why are my games running so bad? Like I got a pretty beefy PC, what's the point? And it's basically the same guy who later on has told me he tried to like change his uh, cooling station on his GPU. So he put off the fans and everything. And you know when people say use some alcohol to actually like clean the, the thermal paste. He took his entire GPU block and put it in alcohol. I'm not capping guys. So therefore, because I know these people do exist, <laughs> just make sure your shit is up to date guys. And this is it so far for this video. If you enjoyed it and if it was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. It would help me out a lot. And especially for the algorithm to get my videos into the algorithm and yeah we just surpassed 500 subs and i hope that i'm pretty soon monetized and shit like that and yeah just stay tuned for more content guys i'm trying to make the best content possible right now and yeah until next time have a wonderful day peace my name is michael